keep holding the line until the against the protesters, we would continue this beyond today. In Seattle today, people were attacked with tear gas, with pepper spray, and otherwise by the police. Houston as well. In Houston, there was also violence by the police against the protesters there. So, I want to ask two questions. One, do people want to do something tomorrow to stand in solidarity with the folks in Houston and Seattle and elsewhere that were attacked by the police? Um, what I want to do is just, if we could use just the hand signals we've been using often to occupy Portland, the twinkles for agreement. And uh, I'll ask the question, do people want to do this to stand in solidarity and do something tomorrow? Can I see if people are into this? Please participate. Okay, if you can put your hands down. Are there people that want to down twinkle if they feel like this isn't a good idea, we don't have capacity, or, or any other kind of reasons? Could we clarify on what the action is? We need to, we'll talk about what the action is after this. There's, a, there's another question back here. Do we know what the workers here feel about that? We don't exactly. We would, we would love to hear from them. There are actions that don't necessarily involve blockading a port, but maintain targeting, for example, the EGT office, which is the multinational grain conglomerate that's been denying a contract to the ILWU in, in Longview. They have an office downtown at the World Trade Center. Yeah, Just saying. Yeah. So, so, so I saw I saw people were into doing some sort of solidarity action tomorrow. Is that accurate? Is that how people are feeling? Okay. So, one option is to do an action like I just said at the EGT office downtown uh, at the World Trade Center. Again, EGT is the multinational grain conglomerate up in Longview that the ILWU has been fighting with there, though it's not the ports. It is port-centric, and it's about all the issues we've been out here t today for. Um, the other option, I guess, would be to do something here at the ports again. There are questions, as you raised, about how the workers feel about that. I don't know how people want to approach this. This is kind of an extraordinary situation. I do see some hands if we could have some discussion here. Um, so why don't we get these two folks in here, one and then two. Oh, I so you're going to get these back and see them back here. Okay, <clears throat> so I was at Port um, 6 today, and I was also at that to get down there. And there's a lot of decisions being made uh, without any of those people. And I don't think that you guys can really make a decision because they're not even aware that this is going on right now. Uh, so to make any decision without them, I think, is an invalid decision uh, and it's kind of void and devout. So just to even let them know that this is going on, to make any decision whatsoever or have the same process there and then bring it together. Just a heads up. Thank you very much for bringing that up. That's a great point. I forgot to mention, we can't all be here at once because we need to maintain uh, the blockade for the arbitrator, as you just heard about. So we're going to go have this conversation again down there and again over there immediately after we finish it here. Is that going to be okay? Thank you. Okay. So uh, do you have something, too? 
six can I be third instead? Um, one point of information, tomorrow at 8 a.m. at the World Trade Center, they're also having an event there uh, celebrating the uh, f uh, free trade agreement with South Korea. So it could be a way to tie in that protest with the EGT thing if people were interested in that. <laughs> so, so we just heard there's another event also at the World Trade Center. Does that happen all day long? I think it's just in the morning. I don't know what time it ends. It's just in the morning? Yeah. So I, so I just want to acknowledge a couple things. One is that a lot of us have been out here all day long. We're really tired, and a lot of people have been working really hard on this action for a long time. Uh, and this, we should be considering that. That's kind of part of where some of us, when we were brainstorming, came up with this idea of EGT uh, at you know noon was the idea we came up with because that would give people time to rest. It's during the lunch hour. It makes it possible maybe for us to get the numbers we need to shut it down. Uh, but I want to see kind of just to start maybe how people are feeling about that idea about EGT at 12. Can people show me kind of how they feel about that? In tandem, the people are kind of people are kind of medium on that. Not not. Do people want to discuss this for a bit? Do people have things they want to say? Other ideas? Uh, we need to kind of find a path forward here. I'm just. Do you want go for it? You want my check or come here? No, it's alright. I mean, I'm just feel. I don't know. I like the idea of if we can't do a really solid, heavily planned heavily implemented day at the ports tomorrow to bring it bring it off the ports tomorrow, bring it downtown, yeah. fresh off today, fresh off everything that's going on nationally and internationally. I'm feeling it, that's all, and I would be there at noon if it happened. Yeah. Are there are there comments? Alcohol. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no alcohol as part of this plan. <laughs> yeah. um, I feel that uh, it's it's been really spectacular today. What's happened? They've had ac they've had actions in Houston, San Diego, all the way up the West Coast. They had a big march on Goldman Sachs today, and I think that there was a really big point made. Um, I'm totally down with the idea of well, I, I could go both ways with uh, whether we come back here or not. But I do think it would be prudent actually to maybe look at what we can uh, gather together tomorrow. And a downtown action would probably be a little bit more uh, in the public's eyes than just on TV. And there's an yeah. opportunity to actually talk to people there and actually go for something that is a big international, um, you know. Coming and we proved we can do it. Yeah. And we proved and, we can do it. And this doesn't mean that we can't do this again. Yeah. We proved we can do it once. Uh, uh, other comments? Yeah, go ahead. We would have let it go. I think that the uh, action downtown is the best idea because I think we'll be able to get better numbers out. It was really difficult to uh, coordinate with people that don't have transportation means and, and just getting out here is a, it's a struggle. I mean, it's great what's going out here. I'm not downplaying that at all, but I think we should move it in. It'll, I think the numbers will be greater and I think the force will be greater. As an idea of something to do downtown, uh, I believe that mayors up and down the coast were aware that if there was any police brutality that we would continue doing what we're doing. Um, so I say we go to City Hall and we start asking Sam Adams to um, call those mayors that were responsible for the police brutality and bitch them out for causing him trouble and uh, getting us out in his streets again. He doesn't run the streets with you. Fuck that shit. Okay, so some other ideas there. It, it, it seems like... He's as much as us. So I, I'm seeing a lot of interest in this idea. Can I just... Are people interested in doing this thing at 12 at EGT? Can I just see that again if people are into that or not? Some people... I'm seeing people are pretty into that. Can I see people that will be able to go tomorrow? They'll be able to make it there? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a good amount of support for that. So what I might suggest here then is that, that we go have this conversation again down there and over there and see and confirm that, that the other folks are also in agreement with this. And then once we can confirm that, we can come back and if that's the, gonna be the plan, we can all start spreading the word about that. Does that sound, does that sound okay? Is that, is that gonna work? We got it. Yeah, but we got something else back here. I was just gonna say, I think it does seem important that whatever the thing, whatever thing that happens, that it's explicit, that it's, and what's the response to that? 
uh, solidarity between the cities thing, whether it ends up being like a direct state for the private company or a city thing. Like, it's totally. a way of making that really clear and obvious that's not going to get covered up. Uh, absolutely, that's a great point. And, and as someone that's been doing media work today, I'll be definitely making sure that happens. Another point of information is that Occupy Oakland, last time I talked to them, we're having a general assembly about doing uh, the same thing in terms of doing something tomorrow. So um, there would be at least the two of us. So is that sound okay then? That we're going to go check in with other folks and we'll come back here to confirm that? Is that people are cool? All right, great. Thank you. Thank you all for being out here, too. So, again, we're waiting for that arbitrator situation to settle. So please hang around until 9 o'clock. We'll come back by to confirm it. Then we're going to need to start getting the word out immediately to everyone. That's going to be really important. So we'll be back in a bit. Woo! Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you.